Former ISRO chief S. Somnath, who led India's third lunar exploration mission, Chandrayaan-3, spoke to us about Sunita Williams' return. Sir, this moment has finally happened. You were also heading the ISRO when the Boeing Starliner had gone into space. What does this moment mean to you? How are you tracking it uh, about, about the splashdown in, uh, on Earth? Uh, this is a moment we were all waiting for uh, to happen uh, for some quite some time uh, after the issue of the Boeing Starliner getting getting into some difficulties uh, of bringing Sunidhi and others back home and coming empty. Uh, we were looking with a lot of anticipation how they are going to come back, and all of us knew that it is going to come back only in Crew Dragon. That seems to be the only option left. But then it took quite some time. Uh, I, I really don't know why it took so much of time. Possibly they could have done it early. But then it happened today. Uh, and we should be very, very happy to see it's happening. And it also showcases our ability to handle crisis. Uh, human beings don't get stuck in space. But there are mecha mechanisms to bring them back. Of course, it's available. So though it, it doesn't happen with the, the main satellite which they intended to, because Boeing Starliner is no longer functional, uh, and uh, ready to take human beings, but then at least there is a crew dragon available to do that. And if it was not there, still there is there would have been another craft available from the Russian side or somewhere else to do this mission. So uh, human beings have now progressed far beyond its original capability of going to space travel and gives us hope that uh, future travel will happen with uh, more and more vehicles available. Options should be available for us to come, go and come back to space. It certainly won't be an easy homecoming for Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore. Space travel does affect astronauts' health. These two NASA astronauts have spent nine months in space. Of course, they're back home now. They are possibly going to face physical and psychological challenges as they readjust to Earth's gravity. Down Crew 9 back on Earth. A 10 day space odyssey that ended up lasting almost 10 months. Williams and Wilmore will face difficulties to adapt to Earth's gravity. The two may experience baby feet after extended space travel, which means they will lose the thick part of their skin as weightlessness causes food calluses to diminish. They may experience dizziness vertigo and difficulty walking for the first few days. Even though astronauts exercise in space, muscles especially in the legs and back weaken due to reduced use. Prolonged weightlessness leads to bone density loss, increasing the risk of fractures. In space, fluids shift upwards and the heart does not have to work as hard to pump blood. They will require a period of cardiovascular recovery. They might experience special disorientation as the brain readjusts to the constant downward pull of gravity. How much of a role does age play? I'm looking at a 59-year-old Sunita Williams, a 62-year-old Butch Wilmore. Does age come as a factor? They, they look extremely fit. Uh, but also, do you think there are then special space medicines that, that add on Absolutely. that will that will track them now that they have returned? Absolutely. Go ahead. Absolutely. Very important question. So I'll give you a fun fact. Do you know your your chronological age, as in your regular number, actually slows down in space? For every six months you spend in International Space Station, you age at a rate of 0 0.05 seconds less. But what about the biological age? You actually age faster when you talk about biological age because it's a very harsh environment in the space. Yes. Although your oxygen is 21% in the space station, you have atmospheric pressure, which is equally good. But still, the content of recycled air hmm. is a big problem. Circadian rhythm, as you know, right? Beauty sleep. You need six to eight hours of sleep to heal your body, including healing your own DNA. To counter these effects, NASA and other space agencies have extensive rehabilitation programs involving physical therapy, medical monitoring and gradual reconditioning. After coming back from space, Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore will take weeks to acclimatize. Bureau Report, India Today.